Tapestry of Dark Souls is the fifth book in the Ravenloft novel line at 310 pages and is written by Elaine Bergstrom. This would be her first Ravenloft novel. Uh, the book deals with an order of guardian monks who have to guard and protect this tapestry of dark souls, which the tapestry sucks in kind of evil beings and evil people, stuff like that, monsters, into the guardian cloth. But the guardians are dwindling, and there's one guardian, Jonathan, who's kind of got special abilities. And it's basically his story up to him to save the order and to save the himself and learn a lot about himself his past and everything like that I don't want to give too much of the story away because it does have a lot of twists and turns now Elaine Bernstrom is a good author or at least from this book I think her storytelling is good her writing style is fine but I did not care for this book and the reason I didn't care for this book too much not because the story is bad. The story does have some interesting parts. And if you take it for what it's worth, it's, it's okay. However, it doesn't feel like a Ravenloft novel. It really doesn't have much connection to the realm of Ravenloft. It just feels like that Elaine Bernstrom had a good story idea, came up with a good story, and submitted it, and they just slapped the Ravenloft name on it, added a few little details in the book to kind of connect it to Ravenloft a little bit, and that's about it. Um, later on down the line, several years later, in Champions of the Mist, I think Jonathan would get a little bit of a write-up to kind of connect this book to Ravenloft a little bit better. Although it doesn't quite fit. If you read the write-up and read the book, it just, it just feels like a little off. And of course, the... Uh, Order of the Guardian and the Monks would be mentioned a few times here or there in a few Ravenloft products. So, would I recommend this book? It actually is going to depend. Like I said, the story is not bad. So, if you want a good, decent story, um, sure, I'd read it. However, if you're one of those people who, like I am, who don't like Ravenloft novels that really don't feel like they're part of Ravenloft that don't really have anything to do with Ravenloft and they just have the Ravenloft lame slapped on there and a few little Easter eggs here and there to Ravenloft that kind of ticks me off so if you're like that with me and you really want to read a Ravenloft book about its Dark Lords or known characters then this book will not be for you. However, if you're okay with it and just a decent little story that doesn't really have much impact on the realm of Ravenloft, then a good, de decent little horror fantasy story, let's put it like that, horror fantasy, um, then, yeah, okay, Tapestry of Dark Souls you can deal with. A creation of magic as old as Ravenloft itself the tapestry possesses the power to attract and absorb the evil creatures that roam the dark domains. Only a reclusive order of monks, the guardians, know of the tapestry's might. It is their duty to use it wisely and to prevent the beings bound within the cloth from escaping. Yet the number of guardians is dwindling, and their hold over the tapestry slipping with each passing year. Their only hope for containing the evil is Jonathan, a young, a youth with strange magical powers. When the boy discovers his ties to the creatures of the cloth, however, he may become the Guardian's doom instead of their champion. Tapestry of Dark Souls is the fifth in an open-ended series of gothic horror tales dealing with the masters and monsters of the Ravenloft dark fantasy world.